Hi Pisces, it's me Jess um, of Bahati Life Apothecary. <sighs> I feel like we have, what is this, the world. Mm -mm -mm. This is your reading for April, but if you're watching this at another time, another point in history, in the future, then this message is right on tar target for you. I just finished up the other uh, another zodiac sign and I'm working on yours specifically that zodiac sign was Aquarius and I just felt like I was ready for a Pisces message. Um and uh, Pisces, what I'm getting from you is literally the whole world. And I this is going to sound kind of controversial, but I feel as though your 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 message, your reading you're, there's so much going on in the world right now, and I feel like without you realizing it, sometimes you end up being this, I don't want to say filter, but it's your vision, it's your heart, it's your idealistic nature that helps the rest of us in the zodiac sign to be healed. And Pisces, what I'm seeing from you is that watch what's going on in the world right now, um, but don't internalize it and think of it as a bad thing. The, I want you to see, Pisces, that you're, that the energy of the earth is cleansing herself. She is really taking time out for herself to restore, to clean her ocean, to clean the ground, to clean her heart, um, to build passion again from like volcanic, volcanic energy, to act out, meaning like an earthquake, kind of shake up um, and re release her frustration. And... Pisces, I see that with you. That, sorry, there's a guy who just was crossing the street and he just laid down in the middle of the street. So I mean, I sit here sometimes. He like put his hands down on the earth and then he laid down and he just spread himself out. Um, but I also, Aquarius is reading, had a guy, like I'm seeing these things. I'm not having visions. Um, I'm not hallucinating. This is things that are actually happening. But in Aquarius is reading, a guy came on a crane Pisces, this dude that just now, he put his hands on the earth, he put his hands on the ground and stretched himself out on the ground in the middle of the street and then last minute he jumped up and ran off, I think, I guess because the car was coming. But Pisces, why I'm saying that, to sharing that with you is because it distracted me, but also Pisces because that's what I'm seeing from you. I'm seeing you really pulling from earth energy. And when you do that, do not apologize. Do not feel guilty because earth is so abundant. I'm not sharing this message with any other zodiac sign. I'm sharing it with you, Pisces. Earth is so abundant, and as she is healing, you are her child. So she will also simultaneously heal you. You have given, without realizing it, so much to this earth and this planet just through your vibration, just in being who you are, just by being idealistic. So you have already given so much to the earth that as she is healing right now, you know, at the time of me filming this, we're in the middle of the, the virus, so everyone's kind of quarantined and isolated, but it gives the earth a chance to breathe and to express herself and to shake up, frustrate, be frustrated, to release that anger. And I'm getting the sense with this world card that that is also what is happening for you. That as she heals, so are you two healing. And I'm seeing you, Pisces, your opposite is Virgo. I'm Virgo, so I know all about this. Um, and I need your energy and you need my energy. So as, as a Virgo, me, I ground myself. I put my hands on the earth just like that guy did. I put my hands on the earth and I lay myself back on the earth. I just don't do it in the middle of a busy highway or a busy street. Because that would be stupid. But Pisces, I feel like you're going to be using that in, in ab absorbing earth energy. And don't think in your brain that, am I wrong for taking from the earth right now because she is healing herself? You are the only zodiac sign that I'm telling this to. And also, you are the only zodiac sign that gives so much of your energy outside of Virgo back to the earth through your spiritual energy, through your heart, by loving other people. Because you, are con you, you, you put out so much up until this point, of, out of all the zodiac signs, you're probably the one who has given so much to the earth that she says, you have permission to heal along with me, to rest in to rest in my roots, to ground yourself, to drink from my water, to breathe my fresh air, to bleed or cry your cry your tears into my earth because I will absorb it, I will take it, I will I will heal it. That's what is look, 
look, that's you. Literally, Pisces, that's you. You you save, like, animals. You save people. You sa save people you don't know. You help people. You are one of those people so far in the Zodiac through, before all of this happened, before, like, all the history of Earth, Pisces people are the ones who help untangle birds that are, you know, like, sea turtles that get entangled in things, birds that fall from their nests, whales that get caught in, in, in these nets. You're not, and you do it from this, from the space of your heart, from the purity of your heart. That is the root of you and spirits, the, 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 the world, the world energy is, she says, let me give to you now. You're the only person who can take from the earth right now and to heal from the earth because you were the only one giving so much to the earth. Wow. I'm, I'm seeing this, your spirit, it's not even spirit. It's like physical world. The physical world, the earth is, is, is trying to give you a gift, trying to nourish you for this month, for the next 28 to 30 days. This is going for walks. This is eating fruit, drinking water, um, allowing yourself to daydream and to ground yourself and to process and to have you work with your imagination, to not be misunderstood by the rest of the world. It's like the rest of the world is catching up with you and your, your sweet energy. So that's what I, I mean, that's what I was seeing. That's what I'm seeing for you. Even as I'm doing, putting your cards out, you're like a reversal. Like I normally don't put the cards out this way. It's like you're reversing things. Re re rewind. Like it's all of the energy is reversed. And what it is that you have put out, now universe says give it, give it back. Earth wants to give it to you. Tangible, tangible evidence, tangible things. Look, my love. Remember those sea turtles I was talking about? And those fish? You helped to provide for this. This is your future. You helped to provide for that. You help to give to that. And now with Six of Wands, I see you moving forward in the future. I see you're actually getting the reward. That's what this month is going to be for you, Pisces, is that you've given so much. All of the animals. I believe that trees have a spirit and personalities. Um, flowers, squirrels. All the animals in the animal kingdom, all living things have energies and souls. And they watch you, Pisces, and it's communicated through the breeze what Pisces has done, what Pisces says, what Pisces energy is, the vibrations Pisces gives off. And they have been watching you and observing you, and they say, we want to give back to you what you have given to us and what you have given to the world because the energy is felt. Everything, it's like the trees, if you go and you're under a tree and you take someone on a date, the, the trees are watching you, you know, be pure in your intention, be pure, pure in your heart, be idealistic. And they say, oh my God, this energy is so refreshing. And it's so giving. It's not selfish. It's very giving. And the, all, all of the things feel that. All of the energy of the world feels that presence. And it is... It's like a gossip. Like that's how the, the world and the energetic world and the soulful world sees you. That's your reputation is this person who gives off this sweet aroma to the entire world and helps people as they go along. They don't ask anything in return. So now spirit says, let us be there for you. Let us show that up for you. And this is you lifting your hands to receive it. Even this little frog says, I heard about you. We, we all know who you are. So we want to be there to help you. The root of this, see, this is, look, all these things are collaborating. Look at you, Pisces. All these things are collaborating. Three of Cups. Look at Three of Pentacles. These fairies, they've heard of your reputation. They've heard of what you've given. Do you see how she's, you know, um, picking the, the lilies? And the fairies are like, we've gotten a bunch more where that came from. And you're like, whoa, thanks. Then we have Page of Pentacles. More fairies showing up and giving to you, giving gifts to you. So Pisces, you're really in a position of just total um, like reward. But I see you being, it, the word is like serendipity. It's very like 
oh, it's so eye-opening. It's so like you're going to be like in awe of things. Like you're going to see the world in brand new color. You're going to see love some because the love that you get, you're like, well, duh, I was going to give it to you. Like that's my natural nature. But that's not everyone's nature is to move from a space of just pure love like you do. That's, I mean, that's so amazing. There's so many people who are moving from their egos. So they they want to celebrate with you. They want to give to you. They want to, you'll see this in your friendships. It's everything. You'll see it in your friendships will sweeten up and the people will be more generous with you and share their ideas with you and They'll, you'll see it in the, the colors of the world that you see it as more colorful. You'll see it in your love life. It's serendipity. Like you you meet people that you really adore and that adore you um, and give to you just in the same way that you would give to them. I'm looking at this card right now and that's the base. This is just, just standing out to me is this soulmate connection and, and bond and I'm seeing you creating, I'm seeing you being colorful, I'm seeing the world saying, you know, focus on your art, focus on your creative expression, focus on your spiritual gifts, and we will provide for you, because you have done so much for us. I'm interested in seeing the past. Yeah, this is Two of Pentacles, this is what you've given, what you've been giving, and spirit, the world notices that. You've almost been like just naturally effortlessly giving and sometimes it can be exhausting. To be so openly giving can be very exhausting even though you love to do it, even though you like to do it, even though you feel called to do it. It can be a lot. And the King of Cups is here. This was, I just feel like you're just this endless pool, this endless water resource. This could also be a person who's, who has manifested in your life who is emotionally receptive to you and has so much depth but is not intimidated by your emotional vulnerability, your emotional transparency. And the lover's card, I, I definitely get the sense that this is your mirroring. So I am getting a very strong sense of like twin flame energy, but also I'm seeing this mirroring in your world that all of a sudden you're going to start to see the world, that how the world sees you. So you might have been giving and just knowing that you should help and that you want to help, but you can see a lot of things that are disappointing. And now all of a sudden you're going to start seeing and smelling the world and experiencing the world in the same way that the world has always seen you. This, When I say the world, I'm not talking about just people. I'm talking about the trees, the animals, the breeze, the ground. That's that. like I've never really shared that message with anyone before with my belief system and how I believe that. The trees have a spirit that they breathe and that they communicate. Um, and they communicate with animals. They don't just communicate with themselves. They communicate with us all the time. And I feel like you've, you've actually believed that and you sense that and you can experience it. Like you can tell when the earth is sad. You can tell when she's mad. You can tell when she's sighing in relief. You can tell when she's resting. You pick up on that. Same thing with animals. You can pick up on those vibrations. But you've also been kind of like... I don't, I don't say defeated, but just kind of like the world has kind of paled over and you spirit is in the divine is like, we're going to bring color into your life again. And it's going to be mirror back to you, what you have given to us. And I feel like you want to rest in the arms of, of the earth right now, mother earth and allow her to provide nourishment to you. She may even show you in baskets of fruit and vegetables or things from the earth like rice, I know that sounds crazy, but like things from the earth that she'll give to you, like someone saying, oh, I have an extra bag of rice, do you want it? That is literally Mother Earth providing nourishment to you. Even though it seems so like ridiculous, it's just the universe and the earth being like, bring abundance to their door. So Hierophant here, Wheel of Fortune, and also Ace of Pentacles. These cards were reversed, but I'm just seeing that it's because it's what I said. <laughs> Not that there's a blockage, but it's coming back to you. So the Wheel of Fortune says, this is what you have consistently be given, been given out through the highs and the lows, and now we're going to give it right back to you. So just open your arms up and open that basket up, and we're going to give you bread and honey and berries and fresh air and the earth and flowers and birds singing to you this time. And you're going to sit and listen to them and be like, oh my God. And then the birds say to you, you sang to us. 
you would like walk around the park or walk around driving your car singing. And we heard that and it was so sweet. So now we want to sing back to you. Especially Ace of Pentacles, the abundance that you've been putting out there, how you help other people is coming back to you. So I just feel like you unapologetically just receive it. I feel like you're really quick to help other people, but I feel like people are celebrating you now. Yes. Judgment card, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords reversed. I feel as though you have been, not that, again, I feel like Pisces, you don't give to give. But I feel like because you've given a lot, you end up feeling defeat, not defeated, but life started to lose its color. And you started to feel a little lost. You started feeling a little disconnected. You started to feel like this earth isn't abundant. As I'm saying that, I started playing with this. So this is, I'm not promoting myself, I swear to God. But this is my new like um, necklace line, like my new jewelry line. And the, the root, I'm wearing this because this is Venus of Wollendorf. She is the original, thriving, abundant, life-giving, affirming mother. Mother Earth. Big breasts, big belly, big butt. And she represents an abundant, leaf-filled Earth and woman energy, feminine energy that will give and can continue to give and to thrive and to nourish. Um, but she has to be filled. She has to be happy. Her belly has to be full. You know what I mean? She has to be filled. She wants to be filled. She wants abundance. And I feel as though your earth, because you've been giving, it feels like things have dried out. And earth says, okay, now we're going to give back to you. And it almost has, the world has almost felt cold to you. It's almost felt too harsh for you. So now it's like, the earth says, rest in my arms. No one else, no offense to any of the other zodiac signs, but even as me as a Virgo, I'm like, have I not given enough? But I just feel like this is Pisces time. Um, Pisces says we, or Pisces energy, like earth energy says, you're the one who should be taking from us right now. Or I'm the one, it's not even taking, you're the one I want to give to you right now. So let us give to you sunshine, sunlight, happiness, abundance. And the word is hearth. We want to give you a safe space to rest your head and lay your head. head. Um, Pisces, I want to look a little bit into your healing. And then we're going to focus on your love life. Pisces, oh my gosh. Wow. Look, nature. See? This is literally Mother Earth. It's been hearing you. It's been vibing with you. It's, it wants to give to you. Self-acceptance. I feel as though you might have felt like you might have felt um, overlooked, taken advantage of, violated, abandoned, forgotten. You might even feel those things towards yourself. Like you might have done it to yourself. And I feel like you might need nourishment. And Mother Earth, nature, says, then I'm going to provide. Intention. I feel like as you're in this space of grounding yourself and spending time with nature, it helps you to set intention for yourself and also the globe. I feel like Mother Earth also understands that this time for you is a time for her as well. That's why it's so easy for her to give, for to invite you. Um, to receive from her because she knows that you're just going to use that intention to give it back to her in some way. Um, yeah, let's focus on your love life, Pisces. I'm really interesting to see, interested to see what you have for your love life. What's going on in Pisces' love life? I want to ask Mother Earth specifically because maybe you've been talking to Mother Earth. Or maybe you need to talk to Mother Earth because she will bring that vibration over to your lover, whoever they be. Look, let your friends help you. In this case, I feel this is nature. This is this is gonna sound like the craziest reading ever, but that's just what I feel. Let your friends help you. Give your relationship a chance. Let go of control issues, interesting. Attraction and unrequited love. Okay, so I've been feeling like in some way you feel as though you've really been like, 
I don't know how to say this, but there's two things that I'm seeing. One is when you love something so much that you're like, give us a chance. Like, I'll do anything. Like, it's this very, like, you're my soulmate. I know that you're my soulmate. And maybe you used to sing these beautiful songs, you know, of love and hope and harmony. And now because your energy is, you feel sad, now your songs get sadder. And the earth heard that change in you and said, oh no, we look out for our little one. We look out for you. And you might not even known that you were picking that anyone even noticed. Nature noticed. Mother Earth noticed. So now she says, we heard your song change. You've been holding on and trying to, knowing, feel, feeling this, and now we want to help you to bring to you what you deserve and what we see for you. We want to bring color back into your life again. We want to bring romance and um, specialness and attraction back into your attraction back into your life so that you can smell again so that you can see color again so in that it's just these things that have overlooked you especially human beings like I can see how this is not um this is just your reading um human beings sometimes we get so caught in what we want to do what we need to do that we don't like we abandon or ignore certain things or you don't give certain things a chance. And Pisces, I feel like that's why you feel unrequited. That's why you feel left out. That's why you feel like without love or without life again and color. And the earth is saying, let us help you. Put your intention in the dirt. Put your intention out there. Sing it to us. And we will give back to you once again. Okay, so let me give you this. I feel like Earth Energy has a specific message. So I'm going to shuffle from notes from the universe. Things are about to get really juicy. I feel like this is definitely connected to matters of the heart. There's a deeper question, a deeper reason for each of your questions. And questions is in... Um, exclamation, not exclamation points, um, quotes, quotations, seek it. I'm seeing you seeking it under the trees. It's not only about being right and start where you are. I'm just seeing you sitting under a tree right now and grounding yourself um, and seeing how, I don't see this as you feeling like it's you, you want to be right. I feel like it's other people haven't really given you a fighting chance like they haven't really given you like in your world you're like it's about love and I feel like you feel misunderstood I feel like people don't understand that perspective they only understand survival mode and now it's like you want more for yourself you naturally want more for yourself you naturally want to receive more for yourself and now it's going to happen but I feel like you're speaking to the earth, right? Okay. Open your arms to receiving. This is from flowers. The flower therapy oracle cards. Open your arms to receiving from the earth. You've prayed for help. Now be open to accepting it. I feel like this is just like through your songs, through your vibes that you put out, earth picked up on that. Then we have chakra clearing. This is going to help you to blossom, to bloom, to give, um, not that you have any issue with that, but it's going to give with color again and also allow yourself to receive. It says, by clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wis wisdom. So as Earth energy is clearing out her chakras and clearing out her energy because of what has happened, you are also doing the same thing. And then reach for the stars. This is about setting intention again once more. You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. So that's what I love and see for you, my dears. So I hope that this reading makes sense and it resonates with you. Um, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. There's plenty more videos where this came from. I do go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I talk about all the planets and everything that's going on astrologically and how it impacts you in your world. So I want to invite you to participate in that or set a timer. And um, until then, you can follow me on Instagram at Bahati Life or on Twitter same handle, Bahati Life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!